So Mandy, after the consultation, I like to spend a few minutes with patients so that I can present an information package. I know that there's a lot of information that's covered in the consult, and I'd just like you to have something that you can take home to refer to. So the first thing that I'd like to talk about is just, you know, the aftercare appointments. So what we like to do is see all of our patients one week after surgery. This is a really important appointment because Dr. Bonasisi will be removing your cast. And I think for you, you're just going to have to decide since you are an out-of-town patient, are you going to stay in Vancouver for a whole week or are you going to go home a couple of days after surgery and then re return for your cast removal seven days later? The next appointments are roughly six weeks and, and roughly six months after surgery. These are relatively flexible. We'll find something that works for you and works for us, but mainly that one week appointment is very important. So the next thing to consider is how you're going to be feeling and how you're going to be looking. So patients report that recovery from rhinoplasty surgery is not that bad. The worst part about it is a feeling of stuffiness in the nose. So chances are you won't have too much discomfort. If you do, you can take Tylenol 3 to moderate that. So what kind of pain and swelling should I expect? At the one week mark when you come to have your cast removed, it's very likely that you'll have some bruising and swelling. The bruising and swelling subsides very quickly after the one week mark. Most people are feeling comfortable being seen in public at about a week and a half to two weeks after surgery. They may have a little bit of swelling hanging around, but it's something that only they would notice. So is there uh, anything I have to do, uh, especially for sun protection? You just need to do what you would normally do for sun protection. So if you are going to be out in the sun, use some sunscreen and make sure that you don't get a burn. So when can I wash my face and, and wear makeup? So while you have the cast on, which is for the first week, you can gently wash your face as usual, but don't get any water on the cast. You are also welcome to put on makeup anytime. Um, and if you do need to remove it, just do it gently. So Mandy has decided to schedule her surgery, so now we're going to kick off the process of getting her prepared. We have a very detailed package of pre and post operative instructions which we'll send to her. This will give her some information about how she can prepare both for the surgery and the recovery period. We'll also be sending Mandy her consent forms to review and giving her some information about being in Vancouver for her surgery. She'll have to decide if she's going to stay just for two or three days afterwards and remove the cast on her own, or if she'll stay in Vancouver for a whole week. We're looking forward to seeing her next time.